Side Hustle Slim Jim here. Do you like that one? That was off the cuff. That's pretty good. Living is very expensive. Groceries, gas, car, rent, insurance. The price of everything is way up. I was at Burger King. I got a Whopper. Whopper meal. When I was in college, a Whopper meal, this is going to age me. It was like $5 for a Whopper meal. I got a Whopper meal. It's $12 for one person to get a Whopper, small fry, and small drink. And don't judge my eating choices. When I first got out of college and I got offered 70K a year, I thought, man, this is, I'm made. 70K a year, this will last me the rest of my life. I never need to make another cent. 70K a year today barely gets you anything. You can barely get by with that. Let me know in the comments. Do you feel that pressure of just the price of everything going up? But we've reached a point where a side hustle is almost a necessity. It's not just a nice to have. It's almost you need this if you're going to live, pay your bills. If you want to go on a vacation ever, you almost need a side hustle. You need some extra income coming in because salaries are not keeping up with the cost of living. So today I want to talk about my favorite side hustle. When anyone asks me, hey, I have extra time, what should I do to make a little extra money? This is the first thing that I tell them every time. And the reason is it's something anyone can do. It costs nothing up front. You don't need any special skills. And it's actually not too difficult to get going. So you can follow me step by step here today. We are going to publish a coloring book on Amazon. I'm going to publish a book on Amazon. And again, you can follow along. You can do the exact same thing. But please don't use my same niche or else we will compete with each other. Don't want that. So let's talk about publishing on Amazon. So when you hear publishing, you might think, oh, I need, you know, a 300 page novel or something like that. That is one type of book you can publish for sure. If you're a writer and you want to go do that, hey, more power to you. If you want to try to use AI to write a novel like that, that'd be fun. I might, you know, maybe I'll do a video about that. But what I think is much easier, much more accessible for average non-writer people like probably yourself and like me. There's two other types of content. There is low content books. So these would be like coloring books, journals, where it's just kind of a design with lines or planners, calendars, those types of things are low content. You don't have to really put together much content in order to publish those. Then there's also mid content books. So these would be like devotionals and activity guides or maybe study guides for books, things like that. But today I wanna focus on a coloring book. And if you're not familiar with the Amazon KDP program, this makes publishing very easy. So in the olden days, what you had to do is you had to design your book, send it to a publisher. They'd have to make, you know, 5,000 copies or whatever, cost you a ton of money. And then you're not even sure if you're going to be able to sell any of these. Amazon has taken out a lot of those barriers to entry. A lot of those steps made it super easy. So first off, you don't have to pay anything up front. You can design your coloring book or devotional or whatever book you want, submit it to Amazon. They will put it for sale as a like hardcover book, soft cover book, a physical book. And then they don't actually publish it until someone buys it. Then they print it. They send it to the person. They take care of inventory. They take care of all that. And then they give you a portion. They take a portion, of course, because they're actually doing most of the work and they give you a portion. So this becomes very easy for you as a publisher. And again, it's pretty much risk-free. You can put out a thousand of these books and it doesn't cost you anything because they don't actually publish it until someone buys it. So a great side hustle for anyone looking to start a side hustle. Don't go start with something that's going to cost you $5,000 to get going. Start with something that's basically free to start. So and today we're going to be featuring BookBolt. So this is a tool it's already pretty easy to publish things on Amazon, but BookBolt takes it to a new level. This helps you very easily research what book might do well on Amazon and then also put together the low content or the mid content to actually build your book. So you can see right off the bat, they show you some low content book ideas. They have templates for all of these, but like a workout journal you could do family freezer inventory. You could have, you know, like a notepad of just these, these templates, a flight information page. That could be interesting. You know, we have it on our phone, but then it's pretty stressful when you're at the airport trying to get the right app open at the right time. Some good ideas. So first we're going to research what idea we want for a coloring book. I want to publish a coloring book on Amazon KDP. Can you give me some ideas? So we'll let ChatGPT give some ideas. You also can go on to BookBolt, and I'm on the cloud tab here, 
and you can search, you know, top 100 bestseller coloring books, price range zero to $100. You could do some keywords. So maybe when I go in here, like some of these I feel like are gonna be overdone. It might be good to find like a niche coloring book. Okay, and right off the bat, one thing I'm noticing, I'm recording this at the end of September, so Halloween is coming up. So, you know, holiday-themed coloring books do super, super well. Parents are out there looking, you know, what's a fun Halloween thing I could do? And so a Halloween coloring book, if you're able to get it out fast enough, you know, it might be it's end of September, it might be good maybe to start a Christmas coloring book so that you're ready to get that out. We have ABC coloring books, more Halloween ones. So then they give you the keywords. These are the ones that are doing the best right now. So yeah, you can see Halloween. Let's check animal coloring book for kids ages four to eight. So this is kind of an interesting one. I think doing something similar to this, $4.73. So you can kind of use this as a model, you know, for what you're gonna make. Has a hundred unique and fun pages for $4.73. You can kind of see the pricing that people are gonna be expecting, $4, $7. This one has 30 coloring pages. A hundred seems like quite a bit. So I was wondering about niching down into African animal coloring books. African animal coloring book. See how much of this there is. So there's a few there. You can see 50 cute African animals coloring books. So there is some search volume for it. So the keywords tab here will show you like how many searches there are on Amazon for that. And it'll also show you on Google. So African American coloring book we're actually looking at African animal coloring book. So there is some search volume competitions low. I think this is a good one. So we're gonna do Afri we're going to do African animal coloring book for four to eight year olds. That's what we decided on. So then let's do give me five title and subtitle, subtitle options for Amazon coloring books for kids ages four to eight. Focus on cute animal designs, make them SEO friendly for Amazon, and include important keyword that parents would search. By the way, if you're not paying for ChatGPT 5, it's 20 bucks a month that you should be paying for that. Okay, African animals coloring book for kids, ages four to eight, subtitle, fun and easy coloring page with lions, elephants, giraffes, and more safari animals for boys and girls. There we go, love it. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the create tab and we're gonna do BookBolt Studio. Go to project, new project. This is gonna be a paperback cover and interior. And this is the African animals coloring book. Let's see, and so in this it's, so the defaults to six by nine, but I think we want just like a normal piece of paper. So eight by eight, 0.5 by 11 is a normal sheet of paper. We can do black and white interior with white paper. Create project. Okay, so now let's get some pages to put in this. So let's do list 25 kid-friendly animals that would be great for a children's coloring book. Focus on cute, simple animals. Okay, there we go. So we got to list our 25 animals here. Now we're going to use the create image. And let's do create a black and white line art outline of a cute cartoon. Let's just start with the first one, lion. Suitable for kids ages four to eight to color. Use thick outlines, no shading, simple shapes. So then I'm actually gonna open a few tabs because I'm impatient while we're waiting for this to go. I'm gonna start a new tab. Copy and paste, create image, and let's in this other tab, let's do a elephant. This is for a coloring book I am making. Sometimes when you give ChatGPT more context, it does better. Okay, so there we go, we got a lion. Now let's do, so we did lion, elephant, let's do giraffe. I'm gonna start a new tab. How many tabs can I get going before ChatGPT starts yelling at me? Do a zebra in this one, zebra. I should probably have a checklist or something like that. Let me, let me get a checklist here. So we did lion doing giraffe. So I'll come back when I get all these generated, but you kind of see the general way that I'm doing this, but we'll wait for a couple minutes and then finish. All right, so we got these uploaded. How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we actually, we missed one. This is good enough though. So let's just start with this lion. So that's page one. Let's see, we wanna make sure we save. And page two, let's add an image. We'll do this one, save. Page three. Boom, boom, page four. You could resize these, you know, if I wanted the monkey to take up more of the page, which might be good, but I'll leave it how it is. 
two flamingos in a row. Let me fix that. I might have mi mixed up my prompts. That's pretty funny having a kangaroo. Okay, while we're waiting for our rate limit here, let's go ahead. I, I don't have patience to sit there. So let's go to kdp.amazon.com. So this is where you actually create. You can see I have a few books in here already that I've made for other things. I put together a the Geneva Bible with the Apocrypha, a prayer journal for men, activity book with mazes, prayer journal, and Twitter basics for internet marketing. Actually, I did that one in 2012. But let's go here and let's go to create new. We're going to do a paperback. Can you give me, see, we need a book title, the book title, the subtitle, and the subtitle again to get the most sales on Amazon. Okay, African animals coloring books for children. Book title, it's good to have a subtitle. Author, James Pelton. Contributors, no. Can you give me a great description for Amazon? Let's see, and then it's good to copy and paste all that they're looking in there. So I can just copy and paste all this, send it to chat GPT, public domain work. Let's see if the image, you can see I like to multitask quite a bit. Let's see if it can do this now. Can we get this warthog going? Well, I have to wait 19 minutes. Oh my goodness. I might just go with 23. I don't want to wait 19 minutes to get this video out. Let's include that there are 23 animals. I'm going with 23. Sorry guys. Impatient. No. Reading age. We'll say two minimum and maybe like, I mean, there's a lot of people who'd enjoy this. It's a low content book. Choose the categories. What category for Amazon would this be best? Would it get this the most sales? Juvenile nonfiction. Let's see, is there a kids, kids section? Children's books. Um, is there coloring books? Activities, crafts, and games. Activity books, general. I did this one. Should I do another category? What other categories might be good? Definitely children's books. You could put it as an art book. Sure. So and then let's get keywords here. Again, we'll use ChatGPT for that. Copy and pasting in. I like to just give ChatGPT as much information as possible and then let it kind of do the work. So keywords, boom. Safari animals coloring ages four to eight. Safari, sure. These are pretty good ones. Okay. Okay. Save and continue. That all looks pretty good. We do need to create a cover. I don't know if ChatGPT is going to let me do this because of my limit that I reached. But give me five design ideas for a kid's coloring book cover. Bright colors, bold text, cartoon style with animals like lions, elephants, monkeys, etc. Please don't have an image limit. Just do it. 15 minutes. All right. Well, let me finish here on KDP and then I'll wait 15 minutes and then we'll we'll get that cover. Okay. So publish without an ISBN. That's fine. Black and white interior with white paper. Six by nine. No bleed. Matte. And you can read through all these things if you want to. Okay. That'll work. Download it. Okay. Good. Download it. So let's go back to BookBolt Studio. Okay. So let's download this. Download current project. A C M Y K. Let's go back to KDP. So upload manuscript. So we'll go ahead and upload the manuscript of the interior here. So here's the interior and this is the cover. I did not need to launch cover creator, but Amazon does have a nice cover creator. We'll go to upload a cover we already have with the cover. So thank you BookBolt for creating those. My cover does not have a barcode. I did use AI. This is a new question that Amazon has on here. I did use AI. No text, images, many AI gym images with no editing. I use Dolly, that's what ChatGPT uses. And then let me just launch the previewer just to make sure that this all uploaded correctly looks okay. Oh, it says I only have 23 pages, must have a minimum of 24. So let me go back to BookBold here. Let me go ahead and add another one. Let's get, let's go back and do my Warthog now that my, I'm sure my time limit is up now. Give me a Warthog. So I need to add 24 and then please check your file. What was wrong with the, what a cute warthog. All right, so let's get that. Let's add it in here. Page 24, get this warthog in here, save. And let's download it again. All right, let's open this one and let's try to upload this manuscript. Interior, let's try adding this cover. Let's launch the previewer. Okay, so I had some problems because I picked six by nine, but remember in BookBolt, I actually made it eight, eight and a half by 11. So select a different size, 
and eight and a half by 11. I was wondering why that was doing that. Okay, now let's try previewing. See, you get to learn along with me. Isn't this beautiful? There we go. Now look at this. We got this great coloring book now. Approve, looks great. Okay, so it's gonna cost $2.84 to print. Translations, none. We'll launch everywhere. Now the list price, the minimum is 568. What we saw was kind of, you know, 699 was kind of the general. So I'm just gonna put in 699 to start with. So you can see if I put it for 10 bucks, so Amazon does take quite a, you know, it costs $2.84 to print and then Amazon takes a big cut. But, you know, if I'm looking to make $2 profit, I can maybe list it, you know, $9.99 seems to be kind of the sweet spot, but I'm not sure how many will sell. You can kind of mess with the pricing as it goes. You get a bump if you put it at $9.99. So it's gonna take 72 hours for it to be available to purchase on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. So you can see in this video, you know, we researched a niche, we generated the title, the subtitle, the keywords, we created the 50 scheduled maintenance. Wah, 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 wah. But we designed the cover, we put all the pages in there, we published to Amazon, we gotta wait, they have some scheduled maintenance right now, but I will be back when I actually get this published. Talk soon. Hello, I am back. It's actually been a few days. You can tell I'm wearing different clothes. My hair is a little bit longer. I haven't shaved in a couple days. But we waited and Amazon, they came back, they sent back and said they denied my book one time. I mean, it's because I set it as low content when it's actually a medium content book. It's not a low content book. So a low content book basically means it just has lines or something like that. This is a coloring book, so I actually put in some of my content. So they rejected it for that reason, but then I switched it off of low content and then they accepted it. So this is four days after I did the original video where I set it all up. So you can go to Amazon. I will leave a link here. Go buy my coloring book, the African Animals Coloring Book for kids ages four to eight. Fun and easy safari animal coloring books with lions, elephants, giraffes, zebras, and more. Cute animals for boys and girls. So go, go buy this book if you would like. I can do a follow-up video. Let me know in the comments down below. I can do a follow-up video about how I market this. We could try to turn this into its own business, this coloring book business. Uh, but I know there's some of you watching who have thought about doing a coloring book, okay? I just walked you through it step by step. It does not take very long. Obviously, you can go a different direction than I did. You could probably do a better job than I did. Again, I'm, sometimes I rush through things. I'm kind of like, hey, let's get this done quickly. But anybody watching who's thought about doing this, has talked about doing it, and has not do it, I want you right now to start this process. Go sign up for BookBolt, sign up for a free trial, open up ChatGPT, get started on some research of what's gonna work well, what keywords are gonna do well. Just try, get something out there. It's free to get something out there. Again, Theme verse of the channel, Proverbs 14, 23, hard work brings profit, mere talk leads only to poverty. So I don't, stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it, stop talking about it, go do it. I wanna see the comments here flooded with people who've made their own coloring books or other creative ideas. So let me know. If you need any help, let me know that as well. If you'd like more videos in this series, um, again, I could do some marketing on this to try and get some sales and we could see how we do. So appreciate you guys very much. God bless you all. Like and subscribe for more side hustle ideas, AI ideas, all from kind of a faith-based perspective. I love Jesus Christ. God bless. Have a great rest of your day.